The Panasonic S1 and S1R offer three different dials to be able to make adjustments, and it also offers a joystick. The behavior of these devices can all be customized to your liking. Let's go to the camera's menu and walk through how to customize. Press the menu key, go to the third tab, which looks like a gear or a cog. From here, we're gonna to go to the second wheel option, and we're gonna start with our joystick settings. So under joystick settings, the default is defocus, which means that as I move my focus wheel around, or my focus box around, I use the joystick to make those adjustments. If I wanna return it back to the middle, just press inward on the joystick and that returns it back to the center. And now we're ready to focus the camera. If you'd like to use that differently, you can also have the joystick become function keys and you can program up to five functions into the joystick. For the purpose of this video, I've already pre-programmed the joystick to switch to our filter effect on and off. Or if you press up, we can turn the camera into its black and white function. You can also have the joystick be your menu control. So when I press in on the joystick, it turns on the menu, and then I can cycle through my menu options by pressing up and down and left and right. Or I can turn the joystick off entirely, and now no matter what I do to it, it won't control anything in the camera. We're gonna return this back to focus. Dial settings. So you can choose what is assigned to the front and back dials front dial here, back dial here. Its default setting is that when I'm in program, this will adjust the aperture or the shutter speed as an override. When you're in aperture priority, this becomes your f-stop wheel for front or back. Shutter speed, if you're in shutter priority, is controlled by both wheels. And then in manual, the front wheel would be the f-stop and the back wheel would be shutter speed. You can change the assignments. So if you want just the front wheel to be f-stop, when you're in aperture and you want the back wheel just to be shutter for shutter priority or manual, that's an option for set two. You can also reverse their control. You can have everything just on the back wheel or you can have everything just on the front wheel with the exception of manual control. We're gonna go ahead and set this back to default. You can choose the direction that you switch the wheels. So if you'd rather be able to rotate them left to increase f-stop instead of to the right, you can do that. By default, this wheel is a volume control when you have a headphone connected. Well, if you'd rather, you can have it now control exposure compensation from program aperture and shutter, and then it would be f-stop when you're in manual. Or if you like to keep your camera in auto ISO, you can now have this exposure comp for all settings. You can also have it be your ISO control, or you can choose to move your focus box around by pressing the left and right up and down arrows. We're going to default that back to headphone. Exposure compensation. By default, exposure compensation is by pressing the exposure button on the top of the camera and using your wheels. If you don't want to press the exposure comp button, you can simply assign exposure comp to either the back wheel or the front wheel. Dial operation switch setup. So we offer the ability to have an additional set of functions from the dials on the camera in addition to f-stop and shutter speed, and you can change what's assigned there. So default, we have white balance to the front and ISO to the back as a secondary function, but you can change that to flash or sensitivity, filter effect, whatever you'd like it to be. And then finally, when you're working through the menus of the camera, the wheels also can move you up and down and left and right in the menu system, and you can change the behavior for making those adjustments. And that's all the ways you can customize the dials and the joystick in the S1 and S1R.